Hello, so today we're taking a look at three microphones from Rode, which I bought with my own money, and it is a totally independent review. So we're going to be looking at this mic here, which I'm currently using, which is the Rode Video Micro, which is the cheapest of the three, and I simply have it plugged into the computer, and I'm using it for this voiceover. Alright, so this is a voiceover with the Video Mic Go 2. Now, I will be adjusting the volume levels of all these three microphones so that they are the same sort of uh, minimum level. But I won't be doing any post-processing on this or any of the other recordings that you hear. And so this is the video mic NTG. And I can see that because of the gain setting, this is one of the loudest. Uh, this is one of the louder and more clear of the three of them. And in my experience, this one does sound the best and is probably the best sort of all-around studio microphone and on-camera microphone. And it is the most professional of all of the three. But because of the battery, it is a little bit annoying to have to charge it all the time. And in my experience, even when I've left it unplugged for a few weeks, I've had to charge it again uh, before using it. And that has sort of interrupted my workflow quite a bit. But if that isn't a problem for you, this is the best sounding microphone out of the three, in my opinion. Alright, so this is the Rode Video Micro, and it is extremely small, especially compared to the other microphones. It's very light, very small, it only has one support stand on it. Um, and also it doesn't have any volume adjustment. And I also have the foam wind muff on this one. So uh, I am outside, there's a slight breeze. Um, this is sort of vlogging distance as well, so this gives you an idea of kind of the ideal conditions of this microphone. So I'm a couple of meters back, I'm just holding the uh, Go 2 here, um, but it's not plugged in. Um, see how this sounds from a distance? And then a bit further back again, I'm not sure even if this is going to be a viable audio sample. Alright, so again this is vlogging distance, and this is the Rode Video Mic Go 2. So this is the one without a battery in it. There's no volume adjustment when you plug it directly into the camera, so you will need to change the settings on the camera. So this is a couple of meters back now. Um, see how much better or worse it sounds than the NTG version. And then this is about 10 meters or so. Um, I'm not sure even how clear it will be. And again, this has the foam wind muff. All right, so this is a test of the Rode Video Mic NTG. And this is on top of the camera. Um, this is about vlogging distance for this lens. Uh, this is the Sony 20mm 1.8. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and walk a bit, bit further back and then see how it sounds from a distance. Now I do only have the foam wind muff. I don't have the actual furry one on there. So this is probably a couple of meters back now. Uh, it's set to a level 9 on the actual microphone. So again this is vlogging distance. Uh, just holding where the tripod would be if I was walking with this camera. Okay, so these are the kind of ideal studio conditions and I'm just sitting here with a camera like that far. It's probably about vlogging distance, but it's a very wide angle lens. This is the Rode Video Micro again, and it's very, it's very small. Um, so I'll just do a quick comparison. The Go 2 really is quite l a bit lighter weight. It's very noticeable when you take it out of the box. The actual stand that's on probably weighs more than the actual microphone itself. It's just something I noticed. We're on the Video Mic Go 2. Uh, this is the new one. There's no sound levels like there is on this one. You get a little knob to adjust how much gain you have. A lot more controls in here, but this is a battery rechargeable one. So uh, one of the most annoying things I found with this one, the NTG, is that uh, I always had to charge it. Often I would leave it for a few weeks or something and then when I go to use it, it would have a low battery, which shouldn't happen because it shouldn't actually be activated until you plug it in. So I'm not sure if that's just the battery drains because of the conditions or something, but that is one of the most annoying things about the NTG, is having to charge it, especially when you want to use it in the moment. One of the very good things about the NTG though is that it has an auto-sensing plug, so whether you plug this uh, TRRS plug into a phone or a camera, um, it automatically uses the correct uh, settings. So that is very handy with this one. The video mic Go 2 doesn't have that feature. So now we are using the video mic NTG. The setting is set to 9. It also has the foam filter on it. Um, <laughs> this one also does have a USB C input here, and that's so you can plug it into an iPhone, for example, with this cable um, to allow you to use it as a digital microphone 
You can also plug it directly into your computer and use it as a digital microphone in that way as well, which being so small and light makes this one particularly useful, especially without having a battery to charge. I think this one is the one to kind of throw in your bag for when you need it. The other one which I usually throw in my bag is this one here, which is the old uh, Video Micro. Now this one really is very small. Um, I think it is still a lot lighter weight because it only has the one stand. Um, but I do like the coiled red cable this one. This one just has a standard a flat cable. But yeah, as you heard through this video, depending on which of these two you thought sounded better, uh, is probably the one that you want to choose. So of course in terms of price, uh, this one is the more affordable one. And then this one's like a step up again. And then the NTG is again a little bit more expensive. So that was a comparison of the three microphones from Rode, which are all different sizes and different prices. I am currently using the video mic go to. Uh, so do let me know in the comments which of these you thought sounded better. Of course I did buy these with my own money. And I do recommend checking them out. Uh, the one that I've used for the longest, especially for voiceovers, has been the NTG. But because of the battery needing to be recharged so often, I'm hoping to replace the NTG with the new video mic go to. So do let me know in the comments which one you thought sounded best. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.